Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We have some more guidebook translations for Legends Arceus and as well as that we have a rumour on the potential legendaries we could be seeing in the Generation 9 game. So quite a few things to go over. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, as always, before we begin, a massive shout out to Poki Sutami. We will be linked in the description down below. She is the person that is translating all of these different images from the guidebook. She also made a couple of videos as well, going over like loads more stuff in the guidebook as well. So, I definitely recommend checking those videos out if you would like. Um, but either way, this is the first one that we're going to be going over, and it is the protagonist, uh, the male and the female protagonist for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, and this is going to be like the final video on the guidebook. I don't really think there's too much important stuff to go over for the guidebook after this one we made a couple videos on it now um and i think most of the important stuff has been covered but again anything else that you do want to take a look at from the guidebook that has been translated Poki Sutami posted all about that anyway so anyway um for the male protagonist here we have the group mark and then that's the team mark um i remember when we thought this was like way back when when we like realized this was like galactic stuff and everything this is what i mean this is why like speculation is so cool and stuff because when we saw that on the arm um, we like guessed it was something to do with Galactic and obviously the Galactic team and everything. So anyway, Fastener at the bottom um, is this. And then over here we have the Indigo Dyed Cotton. And then we also have the Team Mark Badge Pin there. And then Front there. And then again, I, not only do I like seeing like the translations and stuff, I just like seeing all the concept art and the different character art and stuff for the different characters in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It just makes it look even cooler. But anyway, that is the male and the female protagonist. Next up, we're moving on to the commander, um, which again, will all be featured in like this video there. Um, and says a video with further notes on this. Again, will be translated in the release. Artbook will be linked below. But anyway, uh, here we have um, a fur collar, chest to coat. And then here he is, I don't know, after realizing that, you know, the protagonist ain't actually too bad, compassionately cries easily. Um, and then that is embroidered there um, and then over here we have him with a Snorlax kind of just meditating or something and then that's the family crest and then that's the group mark and then the boss badge and then it's engraved so I like, I like that image there to be fair but anyway that is Commander uh, Kamado anyway next up we're going to be moving on to Silene the leader of the Galactic or one of the leaders I guess um, and here you can see this is the team badge some more character art here different de designs from different angles then here she is not fond of bug Pokemon, which I'm surprised at because she gives off a very kind of confident vibe. Um, but here she is not being confident at all when she sees that Wurmple. Uh, and there is a seam on the leggings and then the team mark again and the group mark. And then down here it says under these shoes are Japanese uh, straw shoes, uh, which covers uh, to protect against the cold snow. So maybe she makes quite a few trips to the Alabaster Islands or something. Um, but either way, that is all the Silene stuff. And then uh, does Kogita have a design page? No, even though she should. Um, so again, you won't be seeing any um, character art on that person. Next up though, we're moving on to Laventon, um, the professor. So here we have um, him without his like um, lab coat on and stuff. And he looks completely different. So that's a decorative button there. And then without white jacket and hat. Here he is freezing in the snow, probably in the Alabaster Icelands. Then we have the knit cap uh, pattern part and then the stoop bent neck. And then down here, we have all the different kind of facial expressions. Default, happy, angry, surprised, and troubled. So yeah, that's what he looks like without his um, lab coat on and stuff and his little woolly hat. So yeah, this is why the character art's cool. Because you actually get to see what characters look like and stuff um, without like the normal stuff that you see him in. Next up, we're moving on to... Uh, what's the face? Cannot remember her name. Why is it? Um, pupil shape like an inverted triangle shape. And then there she is laughing, I guess, haha. <laughs> and then thick strong, uh, thick string cross stitched, which is obviously this kind of like jacket jumper thingy. Uh, and then here she is kind of imagining different people, I think, or something. And then pair body shape silhouette. And then again, some more just translations and more character art and stuff of, of her. Uh, next up, we're moving on to Lian, which again, another Pearl clan member. This is without his hat, so hat often moves. He's got this nice, like, fluffy hair, I guess. And then a pickaxe for mining inserted in on the waist. Um, I don't think I noticed that pickaxe behind in his belt before, but I don't know. Never saw it. And then we have a Jasper Stone, and then this will pop and pass, uh, and then snap close right. And then again, him just looking at something there. 
um, being very, I don't know, I guess intuitive or whatever. And then last but not least, the last one that we're going to be going over today is Iskan. Um, again, this is the last character art we're going to go over for like the guidebook. Um, so flat face, fishing rod there, and that's him just looking at a different angle. Good at mimicking the uh, the voices of Pokemon. So we see him here with a Buizel and a Gastrodon. And then a fish basket as well just here. So that is all of the character art for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Again, the, the, there's probably more and stuff. Uh, but again, go and watch these like videos. Because they're like really, really long. They're really, really informative. And again, massive shout out to Poki Sutami for translating all this stuff. And again, if you ever need... If you ever see any like Japanese rumors or anything... Chances are that she will be translating it, so it kind of gives it like because if the Japanese is off, it went on like a rumor or something, then it's most likely fake. Um, but when the Japanese is like spot on, it gives it a little bit more validity, I guess. So always nice um, coming onto a page when there is like another rumor or something to see if, uh, if the Japanese actually adds up and stuff. Finishing things off, though, we're going to go over this post, which was uh, found on 4chan uh, about a week ago. It says, from 4chan, it was posted by Mundane Most 3104 saying, from 4chan, the possible Pokedex information about the legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet box legendary. So, we have v v v Vitus Leon, which is a dragon fighting type. And then, Infrared Vitulcion, which is dragon light. I'm guessing that's dragon fairy and it's just been translated badly because I doubt we have a new light type coming. And then, category, Infrared Pokemon. It's untouched. So this is the Pokedex entry, apparently. Um, so it's untouchable body can absorb low frequency waves to use against his opponents. Uh, legend. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, unless it's just only a male Pokemon, it usually says against its opponents, right? Unless his Pokemon can only be male. Uh, legend says that he is always observing us from somewhere. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really take a look at Pokedex entries too much, but I think it usually says its opponents, unless it can only be like one gender, like um, I don't know, like Latios can only be male. Anyway, next up we have Neo Electron, which is a Dragon Electric, and then Ultraviolet Neo Electron. So I guess these are like forms of the Pokemon. So Infrared and then Ultraviolet are, I guess this is Scarlet and this is Violet, and becomes Dragon Light. And this, unless Light type is something just for these Pokemon, but I don't think that would really make much sense. It says, category, ultraviolet Pokemon. So his whole body is made full of ultraviolet light. Some tales underline his ability to become invisible in a fraction of a second. His light has been primordial uh, to change the path of humanity some time ago. And then we have the third legendary, which is Phobophogon, which is a dragon dark, and then collapsed Phobophogon, which is dragon light. Keep seeing this dragon light popping up everywhere, all over the place. Um, but this is what the people of Reddit think about it. Includes light type and overly Spanish names. Only thing that could be more fake is if one of them evolved from Dunsparce. Um, actually, they both evolved from Dunsparce. Uh, fake. The Pokedex translations are usually pretty good in my opinion, but the phrasing in Neo Electron's Pokedex entry is really bad. His whole body is made full of isn't proper grammar. There's weird usage of the word underline and has been primordial. Doesn't seem right. These are kids games and they try to simplify that as much as possible to avoid confusion. Uh, I miss when fake leaks were photoshopped, Cora Cora scans, uh, now it's nerds writing Pokemon fan fiction. The idea sounds so dumb and obviously fake. Uh, horribly fake post, uh, light type, names are too Spanish for legendary Pokemon. It's untouchable body and the numerous grammatical errors throughout both descriptions. His light has been primordial, come on. Second Mon's paragraph uses he, him pronouns, but the first uses it, it's not a single box legendary Pokemon. Uh, Dex entry has had gender pronouns of any sort, despite what the rest of the entry says. Sorgaleo and Lunala being male and female evolutions of Cosmog, yet they still use its. Uh, I don't think Sorgaleo and Lunala are male and female evolutions of Cosmog, right? I think it just depends on what game you evolve it in. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, where the one is gendered, have any of the Box Legends had a gender before? I believe Zacian's Pokedex entry said it's along the lines that Zacian is referred to as an elder sister to Zamazenta. So yeah, it's not very often we have like pronouns for legendary pokemon but either way that is going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 likes leave a comment what are your thoughts on this rumor do you think these legendaries are real do you think this is actual pokedex entries from pokemon scarlet and violet i think it's fake as hell i don't think this is true in the slightest i think it is just made up um 100 and again the light typing is a massive giveaway um, and again, we don't usually see pronouns being used in Pokedex entries for legendary Pokemon. But either way, let me know your thoughts on it. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.